Okay, so in the midst of Modern Warfare 3's beta, um, COD 2024 had some leaks, also known as Treyarch's next title or what people are calling Black Ops 6. So we have a... Well, I'm looking at screenshots because I pre-screenshotted these, but we're looking at some information from Modern Warfare 3's Modern Warfare 3 Intel on Twitter. I'm sure he got it from somewhere else, but I'm just gonna link the first person that I saw it from. And then next up, we have a weapon list. What I'm assuming from campaign multiplayer, and we got a surprise of zombie weapons as well, uh, in terms of two wonder weapons from Task Force Leakers 141. And then we have a Reddit post from the subreddit Gaming Leaks and Rumors. Again, all of this will be linked in the description and anything from Twitter will be in the description as well. As for the Reddit post, it's cringe as his name says, it's Uwu Leakers 99 Now when I was looking at this on the Reddit page, I tried to click the links that were listed in that Reddit thread and they were deleted. So I'll try and find the actual poster and link their Twitter down below as well. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna start off with the leaked maps. Now for multiplayer, we have Radar, Island, Pillage, Canals, CMD, don't be confused with WMD is what the Twitter post says, uh, Grind, Firing Range, and Veiled. Now quickly before we go into the other part of that Twitter post is one of these, I'm sure, is a Black Ops 1 remake or remaster, which is obviously Firing Range. The other one, Grind, I believe sounds like a Black Ops 2 map. Any of you Treyarch player, uh, not players, any of you keen Treyarch fans will let me know if that one is a Black Ops 2 map or any of the other ones. Um, but I, I'm kind of hoping, along with, with the leaks and suggestions we've been getting, is that with this game, they're going to give us Black Ops 1 every single launch map, maybe even DLC, as the launch maps for the next game. Uh, that would be pretty cool, because I would love to see some OG Black Ops 1 maps um, remastered with this game. It would be cool if they brought in zo the Black Ops 1 zombie maps as well, but I doubt that. Um, but next up, in terms of zombies, we have the two leaked map names for zombies, and this goes along with the Reddit thread that we'll get right after here in a bit. So we have Quartz, and then we have Garnet. That's it. Those are the two supposed leaked map names for Treyarch's zombie maps for 2024. And then next up, the Reddit thread, which was nine days ago actually, so I'm obviously pretty late on this. Also, depending on when this video goes up, it'll be even probably uh, last year's news. We have the title of the thread is Black Ops 6 COD 2024 maps and information have possibly leaked. Now he leaks the Twitter user who originally leaked it, but again, the Twitter statuses are gone. Um, but these are, I guess, some cut in-game files that were posted. So it goes on to say forward slash ZM, which stands for zombies map, quartz deck cannon trap, and then it goes on. I'm not going to read the entire script. Uh, next up, it goes forward slash ZM tentacle trap, and then it goes on. And then next up, lastly, it has ZM garnet WW quest AI, and then it goes on. And then lastly, it goes on to say it looks like two maps at launch. And then it also leaked the zombies theme for 2024 as well, which is a bit weird. Again, that was also deleted, so I can't actually look at it myself to see if it's actually real. And then lastly, we have the leaked weapon list. Now, on this leaked weapon list, I'm assuming that this came from an inside source. They then gave him the actual like script weapon names, and then this person put it into a Microsoft Excel sheet. Now, I'm not going to show the actual screenshot just in case it actually came straight from Triarch. And I, I don't want the channel taken down. I don't want the video taken down. So I'm not even going to risk showing it. But I'll, again, leave the Twitter post down in the, the description. Now, also, along with the spread, spreadsheet, it shows the IRL name. So the real life name of the firearm. Then it has the code name from the actual files of whatever they got it from. And then it has the category. So like pistol, submachine gun, that type of thing. And then it has the platform it's associated with. Now, there are some fuck-ups in the platform and the in the um, actual category of the weapon and i'll let you guys know which one is a fuck up all right so lastly for the leaks as of i'm recording right now we have the weapon list now the weapon list i don't know 
I'm assuming it came from an inside source that gave this person the information and then he made a Microsoft Express sheet. I'm not going to show the screenshot on screen just in case because I don't want this channel destroyed. So hope you guys can understand that. Now in this Express sheet, it has the IRL name, the code name that's from in the in-game code name, and you have the category and the platform. Now some of these are fuck-ups. Um, and I'll let you guys know briefly that they're fuck ups and they're not in the right category or they're not the right platform. Um, so let's just start off with the Colt Model 723, part of the AR platform. It's a carbine. Then we have the AK-74, which is obviously an assault rifle, part of the AK platform. Then we have the SIG SG-550, which is a part of the SIG platform. Then we have the CETME Model L, which in in this express sheet it says it's a um a part of the c-e-t-m-e h and k which it's not this is a spanish made rifle unless this is this company that made this gun is a part of like a spanish subsidiary company of h and k which i don't really think it is so that's for now a fuck up um next we have the as val which is a part of the as platform there's a lot of different variants of the as val like the vss the srs that type of thing Next up, we have the M16A2. There's a lot of M16 variants out there, starting from the one that was released during Vietnam, the M16, then the M16A1, A2, A3, A4. I think it goes up to A6. I could be wrong. It might go up to A5. Again, part of the AR platform. Then we have the SA80, which I believe is a version before like the L85s, L86s, that type of thing. It's a British made bullpup. Next we have the AR-18, which is also known as the AR-180. Um, also before the, a the actual AR-15, which is a part of the AR platform. Then we have the L-1A1, which is what the Australian forces use during Vietnam. It's kind of like a pre-existing version of the FNFAL. Then we have the SAR-80 or the SAR-80. These platforms aren't listed. Um, then we have battle rifles. Now the f this is the second fuck up, the AEK-973, which doesn't exist, I looked it up, um, part of the AK platform, the typo is it should be 971, if you guys played Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, you would know what the AEK-971 is, um, and then the other fuck up is it's saying it's a battle rifle, it's not, it's an assault rifle, um, I don't, from my knowledge, Russia never even produced these, let alone used them. Um, that goes along with the AN-94. They never used them. Uh, I think there's a couple prototypes of both of these, but they never saw combat. They were never used. Um, next up, we have the SIG SG-542, saying it's a battle rifle, a part of the SIG platform. We have the CETME Model C, which again, it's saying it's a part of the CETME H and K, which again, don't know. Um, next up, we have the FNFAL as a battle rifle and the FAL. The Belgium, Belgium made foul. Then we have the Gabard PDW, which is actually like a shortened bullpup version of the AKS 74U. It's a pretty interesting looking weapon. And then next we have the FAM AESAF. This is a Chile made weapon. It was produced in 1993. And there's a, another variant called the Mini SAF. It's chambered in 9mm and 40 Smith and Wesson. And uh, it kind of looks like the KSPs from Black Ops Cold War. That's kind of like what it looks like. So that's inter interesting as I can speak. Next up, we have the MP5. It's a part of the CETME H&K. Uh, no, it's just an H&K. Um, and then next up, we have the PDW version of the ASVAL, the SR3 Vicar. Next up, we have the Imbol MD1 which is an assault rifle, it's not an SMG. Next up, we have the Grendel R31, which is part of the Grendel platform. It's a funny name for a gun. It's a little interesting fact about the Grendel R31, which is a carbine, not an SMG, was produced from 9194, and it was chambered in 22 Winchester Magnum. That's interesting. It's a weird gun to add to a COD game. Um, next up, we have the SR3MP, which it says it's an SMG, but if I'm correct, the SR3MP is a Russian um, pistol chambered in uh, 9 by 21 um, So I don't, again, that's another fuck up. 
uh, alongside the Grendel R31 as a fuck up because it's a carbine and an SMG. And then we have the PP90, which says it's an SMG. Again, no platform listed. And then lastly, this gun's actually already in Modern Warfare 3, and you can use it in the beta. Um, and you've probably already used it. Is the Colt 9mm SMG, which is just a M4A1 chambered in 9mm, essentially, is what it is. The PP90. And if you guys remember in Modern Warfare 3, the original one, you could get these guns called the FMGs and you could also akimbo them they, I believe they were chambered in 9mm and it was a foldable little pistol um, and Russia actually made a gun similar to that I don't know which one came before it but uh, this gun's actually still in use in today there's two variants the 90M and the 92 and then it's also it's also apparently associated with the PP 90M1 which is the gun that was in Modern Warfare 3 as well um, so that's a pretty interesting looking gun. It looks really stupid, um, but it that's neat that it's uh, going to be in the next title. The SR3 MP and the SR3 Vicar are the same gun. So if you're thinking, oh, this list is literally fake, it's just here to generate hype for gun enthusiasts that like to play Call of Duty, uh, you could use these as an example. So the again, the SR3 MP, SR3 Vicar are literally the same gun. The names are interchangeable, so I don't know why these are listed as two different guns. Um, and they're both a part of the AS the AS Val platform, alongside alongside the uh, sniper variant, which is the VSS. So unless Treyarch is making one a carbine version and one an SMG version. That's something they could be doing, but again, they're literally the same gun. The Mossberg 500. Then we have the Bullpup Mossberg 500, which is real. That also could be an example of uh, conversions coming, uh, returning to this game from Modern Warfare 3, this year's game. TBC Model SB12, which is a break action shotgun, which could be a side-by-side -side or an over and under. And then next, we have the Rotwill Skeet Olympia 72, which is also a break action. My guess is because it's got the word Olympia in it, it's more than likely the Olympia from the Black Ops games. And then lastly, we have the Remington Model 11, which is either semi-auto or pump action, one of the two. As for LMGs, we already have a um, issue here. So the AR-10 in this spreadsheet here says it's an LMG which is wrong. The AR-10 was never an LMG. It's just a M16 that's chambered in 308, an M4 chambered in 308. It was one of the first examples of a 308 um, AR that actually mm, almost became the service rifle for the US military during Vietnam. So that's kind of cool that's returning. Uh, we already kind of have um, 308 style ARs in previous COD games. Um, next up, we have the PU-12, which is in the AK platform. I was looking this one up, and it looks like a mixture between a RPD and a PKM slash PKP. So that's it's a neat little LMG. It's also a part of the that AK platform. Um, it looks nothing like an AK, but they're just putting it in there. Uh, next, we have the KSP-58 and the KSP-58D which um, I was looking at these earlier. The KSP-58 and the 58D is just a Spanish version of the FN Mag, which is just a uh, heavy machine gun that also is essentially the M249 Bravo, is what these guns are. So in Mars, we have the M16 Mark 12 SPR. It's part of the AR platform. I believe these are chambered in 308. So we have another 308 AR in the game. Uh, next up, we have the IMI Romat. Just by the name IMI, it's an Israeli-made weapon. It's a part of the FAL cat, uh, platform of weapons, and all it is, it's just an Israeli-licensed and produced model of the Belgium FAN FAL. So um, that's in the DMR category. Then we have the Belgian Mark II sniper variant, which I'm assuming just by the name, it's a sniper variant of the FAL. Then we have the SVU Dragnoff, which is just a bullpup Dragnoff. Then we have the Accuracy International AE, which is basically, and I'm, some people will be pissed about this, is a British-made uh, rifle chambered in 308. that basically it's the L96, uh, which is funny because the L96 is in the sniper rifle category, which we'll get to here in literally two seconds. 
And the last designated marksman rifle, we have the SR-25 PSD, and then which is a part of the AR platform, but this game doesn't have that listed. Um, back to the KSPs, the platform name is called the uh, the Kolsop, Kolsopruda, Kolsopruda, whatever you want to pronounce it. Uh, and then in sniper rifles, we have another SR-25. And then the next sniper after that, we have the SVD Dragnoff, which is returning. I'm not sure if you would classify that as a sniper rifle. I would personally classify it as a DMR. And then next we have two PGMs. One's called the PGM Ultima Ratio. Funny name. And then the next one is called the PGM Hakate 2. Both sniper rifles, both a part of the PGM uh, platforms. From my understanding, I think these are French like bolt action rifles. Well, actually, the Hakate, the Hakate 2 is a 50 BMG sniper rifle. So, one's a 50 BMG and then one's 308. We have the L96. We all know what the L96 is. The last game it was in, I think, was Black Ops 1. And then the more up-to-date version, the L115, was in Modern Warfare 3. I don't think it was called that, but it was in Modern Warfare 3. And which I believe that's either chambered in 300 Magnum, 338 Lapua, or 308. All, I think they are chambered in all three of them. As for the pistol categories, Makarov PM, which is a part of the Makarov platform. Then we have the Sketchkin APS, which is it's a full auto version of the Makarov PM. Uh, the last time the Makarov was seen was in Modern Warfare 2019 as the Psykov. Then we have the Grendel P30, which is actually, I believe it's a P30 is a bit of, of a weird pistol because it's chambered in 22 Winchester Magnum. It's it's very weird. We we already have a like a another gun that's chambered in 22. That's just a weird choice in my opinion. Then we have the 57. I think the last game the 57 was in was in Black Ops 2. So that's nice that that's returning. Then the last pistol we have the Beretta M9, which we all know what that is. It's been in literally every Call of Duty game. Um, in recent years, it's been called the Renetti. Uh, and as for launches, we have a Panzerfaust 3, which I believe was in Modern Warfare 3. And then we have the, the Fem 92 Stinger. As for melee, we have like the standard COD melee knife. Uh, and then we have the combat knife. And then we have the breaching tool. My guess, the breaching tool is probably going to be like a crowbar or a sledgehammer. And then lastly, the exciting news here is the ray gun. That's a leaked zombies uh, name, weapon. And then lastly, we have a curveball here with the jet gun. Now, if you've played zombies long enough, you would know the jet gun is from transit. So my guess is that tells us that A, there's going to be a remaster or remake in Treyarch's next title for Transit, or they're going to have a map similar to Transit but completely different, or it's going to be part of you know Outbreak and, and stuff, or it's going to be carry forward content from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and they plan on adding the jet gun to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies into their whole open world type of thing. So that has been the entire leaked weapon list so far. There could be more leaked. Um, these could just be carry forward, forward content from Modern Warfare 3 if they do do that, but some of the guns in Modern Warfare 3 from Modern Warfare 2 as well won't really make sense because some of them were designed and produced after the Gulf War. Without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, ding dong, notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Obsessed with Modern Warfare.